Hi everyone, <laughs> Dr. Beth Westy here, and oh, I didn't realize this was gonna flash like that so much. Weird. Okay. Um, but, so I'm really excited to talk about a little bit more about my passion for nutrition and what really got me started in um, nutrition, nutrition for women, and why I love, love, love guiding women through different nutrition plans for their health and everything else. I might change this filter if it's gonna keep doing this. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> um, but this is actually kind of fitting. Uh, see, I'm, I usually write stuff on my whiteboard um, and talk about nutrition, so if this is going to be distracting, let me know. Hi, Kate! Hashtag Year of Kate. Um, so when we talk about nutrition, one of the biggest things that I really, really enjoy is um, just sort of the history that I've had and my journey in nutrition. There's a big shift and change that's happened in my lifetime about um, health and different things that I grew up kind of doing and learning about nutrition um, and and everything else. I might change this. Let me see if I can change this because it just keeps flashing and it's actually distracting for me. Distracting. There. That's better, right? That's better. I know. It's such a cool filter, but <laughs> I, don't, I won't be able to get through this and actually focus on what I'm talking about. Um, so history on me a little bit in terms of my nutrition realm is that I was an athlete um, for as far back as I can remember. I have always loved sports, all kinds of sports. Um, I was a gym rat though. I grew up playing you know, volleyball, basketball. I did some track, softball, all that, and was always on the go. I played in high school. I played three sports at a time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I did, especially in the spring, I would do J.O. volleyball, I did AAU basketball, and then I ran track for school. And I loved it. It was a crazy schedule. I'd be at practice for six, eight hours a day. Loved it. Loved every second of it. Um, but always being on the go, I, I didn't have the best nutrition, right? I, I wouldn't go through the drive through because um, I knew that wasn't healthy. My mom cooked meals, so I would be like running in and out, grabbing food, shoving it in my face, eating in my car. Uh, but I lived off of granola bars, power bars back then, Ugh. fruit snacks, right? Oh, gross. Like some of the stuff I used to eat and think it was okay was disgusting. Just gross. I get grossed out by it. Um, and then I actually was my senior year in high school. My club coach was really, really uh, in tune with nutrition. And he was the first one to actually talk about getting more protein in, and in my life. And... Uh, it was really interesting. We did really well uh, in volleyball. And, and then fast forwarding on into college, I had some different coaches and things. And, you know, I was put on different diets. I was told that I was too fat. And, you know, I, which is one thing in and of itself. But put on different, a ton of different diets, told to follow different things. A lot of it not healthy, not necessary. It was all about... Um, you know, not eating fat, you shouldn't eat fat, and as an athlete, we were working out again, like, between four and six hours a day, hard, and it wasn't about protein, it wasn't about eating clean and healthy, it was just, don't eat any fat, okay, <laughs> so, you know, having this really unhealthy mindset even around nutrition and health, and really tough to keep up with, not something that's sustainable, and we were never taught very good habits, and then a lifestyle means to be healthy from there on out. Um, from there I went right into grad school and started having babies and ugh, all these other things. So when I really started diving into women's health and nutrition, I really got frustrated with the entire path that I had been on. You know, I grew up on a small goat farm, so we grew a lot of our own vegetables. I grew up with healthy, fresh meals and food. And, you know, but still, it, you know, being an athlete on the go, that was a different thing to keep up with. And then all of the, you know health information out there, nutrition information out there was all about not eating fat and then having some different coaches and stuff was just really diff- ugh. There were things that I did where I'm like, I really wish that I never had that advice and then I hope that my kids going through sports, because we just had, <laughs> I just hear my husband coming home with my son from baseball and we had softball, so kind of the running around, same thing. Um, but I hope my kids never have to go through that in terms of nutrition and given really interesting advice. So when I start talking to women about nutrition, a lot of times they're like, what do I need to do? What are the things that I really need to focus on first? And it, there's so many different things that you can give advice on. There's a, like across the gamut on, um, you know, advice for starting. 
Katie says, oh, no fat, vegetarian. Yeah, those were all the things to do back then. It was like, no, no, don't eat fat and be a vegetarian, then you'll lose weight. And it's like, ugh, it's not necessarily the right health advice. Do you know what I mean? So in terms of like talking about where to start, I often say, you know, you know, starting with protein, that's the number one place to start because you're going to get more nutrient, you're going to get more energy. So many things are going to change in your life from getting more protein because we are just lacking in protein in general. So protein is always the place to start. Um, and then from there, there's so many different avenues you can go in. There's always there's always these tactics or these tricks or these things, but I'm a firm believer in getting your body to its healthiest point possible and then working with the physiology to get the result that you want to get because then you're going to be able to be at your healthiest and your metabolism is going to be revved up as high as it can go and you're going to be able to get these amazing results and it's going to be something sustainable and lasting for you, not something that's a quick fix or that you're doing something quickly and then you fall off and then you end up gaining 20 pounds from it later. So starting with protein is the number one thing um, that, that people generally need to do, women need to do, to really move in the right direction. Uh, you know, and then there's also, of, co of course, like cleaning up what you're eating. You know, if you're going through the drive through all the time or you're not eating healthy, balanced meals, that would be the other thing too. So we'll just say clean, right, non-processed, right? If you're getting all your meals from a box, that's a problem. <laughs> um, and then the complete nutrients. Now, the, again, these are like basic starting things, and I've done a lot of videos just on each of these things individually, and, and this is only a, a fraction of what I have in meal plans. So the meal plan I have and the, um, and the book that I have, that I, <laughs> another round of editing for me, yay. I really don't like editing. This is a side note, but I really don't like it. It makes me want to take my marker and jab it in my eye because I just don't like it. Anyway, anyway, but I have to do it, but it's coming along, so I'm really excited about it, <laughs> but I don't like it. So, and, go, and I just forgot because I was talking about editing, and I don't like editing. These three things are only a small fraction of the meal plans and what I recommend for women, so a small fraction of what's going to, you know, of what everything I recommend encompasses. But it's the starting foundation to get you there. So if you're going to try and do a tactic, or if you're going to just try carb cycling or something like that, great. But if you don't have some of these things as foundational base first, it's not going to work the same way for you. It's not going to work as well for you. So that's where having the right tactics are really, really important. And the meal plan and the, and the, the challenge groups that I lead women through is, um, you know, is one of those things that it, it doesn't just happen like that, you know. It's, it's all about building your body up, priming your body to then get the right result. So it's a very different tactic in terms of moving forward and seeing these amazing things shift and change in your body that you've been struggling with for a really long time. And most often it's because, again, you've been following the wrong kind of advice. Like, again, I did for years. I mean, when I was on different teams, you know, or had different coaches, we had diets. Like, literally, coach, assistant coach, all these, they would watch what we would eat. Like... All, like all the time. And when you travel, you'd be around your team 24-7, so there was no escaping it. There was no sneaking anything. There was none of that, right? Well, of course, of course I did. Of course I snuck things, naturally. <laughs> but it, it was a lot harder. <laughs> yeah. So just really, really, ugh. The whole mindset behind it is one thing to get over, and then what that does to your body physically. You have to get your body healthy enough to move past that point. So that's a really, that's a really thing, you know, important thing to kind of think about and move forward from there. What have you done in your own life? You know, what kind of diets have you gone through that you know that have created some type of problem for you health-wise, that have maybe slowed your metabolism down, that have maybe ruined the results that you really wanted to get? Um, and most often for women, it's either like no fat um, or no carb, and then also uh, the calorie deficit. Calorie deficits for women are really tough if you're doing that long term really, really tough. So again, the program that I have for women is so powerful because it takes a ton of different tactics and rolls it into one and it impacts the body. But for some women, it takes a little bit longer because your body needs to be primed first. And that's okay because your body's been through so many other things. 
but always know that there's there's a different avenue. There's always one more level that you can take things to. I'm always doing this for myself too. These are constant things to kind of work with and tweak and, and get to different levels on. So it's really interesting to see these different things shift and change in women's bodies that they've been struggling with for a long time, but it's because all of a sudden they're using the right tactics at the right timing for them. But again, to, so again, like I said, to try all these things or to try all these other like fancy, you know, tweaks, great, but these are the things to start with first. Getting enough protein, fueling your body correctly, eating clean, nutritious meals, again, fueling your body, and then getting those complete nutrients, which is protein, fat, and carb. Getting that in your body, eating every two to three hours, um, really focusing on that. So it's, uh, it's fascinating to see the changes that women have. And I can't tell you how many conversations I've had in the past few days of women who are like, you know, I had no idea that I was really that tired or that I didn't have this much energy. I, I can't believe it, but I'm really pushing myself harder in my workouts. My workouts are nothing now compared to what they used to be. And it's all because of just shifting these three things. That's the base. That's the foundation. From there, you can try all these other things. The intermittent fasting. You can try the carb cycling. You can try all of it at once. <laughs> Doing all these different things. The eating for your cycle. Everything else is going to come from there. But this is the base and the foundation. So anyway, hopefully this has been helpful information. If you found this helpful, if you could click the share button, I would really appreciate it. Because a lot of women don't know where to start. A lot of women are stuck and frustrated. And they've done all the things. Or they've been told to do the things like I was. Um, for many years of don't eat fat or eat these things or you have to eat like this and just terrible advice. <laughs> terrible advice. Terrible. Anyway, so that's what I got for you ladies tonight. Um, and if you are interested in joining the next group that I have starting, you can click the link and learn more. Or if you have questions about whether or not this would be right for you, if you're like, oh, I've done all these things before and this has or has not worked, I mean, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to chat with you about whether or not this would be a good option for you. Um, or even just some tweaks that you could make on an everyday basis to really get you a better result. So, that's what I got for you guys tonight. I really want to change the filter again, but I won't. <laughs> but Wonder Woman's coming out, so it's exciting. I like superhero stuff. Yeah, I, that's another recent thing for me. Since I my son's 11 now, and he really likes... Um, Marvel movies and Stan Lee movie, all these things. Like, I never thought that I would love these movies. And one of my favorite movies is Ant-Man. I, I love Ant-Man. Oh, my God. All of it. Just all these movies. So, I'm fascinated with it. Anyway. All right. Everybody have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.